Welcome to the first edition of EDR Tech. EDR Tech is a new monthly video series from Crash Data Group. In this series, we'll cover lots of various topics related to the collection of EDR data and EDR retrieval tools. In future editions, we'll discuss aspects unique to each of the various EDR tool product lines, the Bosch CDR tool, the GIT, Hyundai, and Kia EDR tools, and the Tesla EDR tool. We'll offer brief tutorials, highlight new products, things of that nature. And if you've ever wondered, why is it like that, or why do I have to do it this way? We'll answer some of those questions as well, so you have a better understanding of why things are done the way they're done in the ever-evolving automotive industry. We're pretty excited about it. Like I said, this will be a regular video series with new editions posted monthly on the Crash Data Group YouTube channel. For this first edition, we'll be going over the latest Bosch CDR Direct-to-Module cable release. Crash Data Group is pleased to announce the release of two new Bosch CDR cables. And as you know, due to supply chain and production issues, it's been quite a while since any new CDR cables have been released. And these are just the first of several new cables that Bosch is planning to release this year. So let's take a look at them. First is the number 858 Ferrari direct module cable. Ferrari is a newly added manufacturer to the Bosch CDR tool, and this cable is used for direct module downloads from select Ferrari vehicles. It's the 858 Ferrari cable. Next is the number 859 Lucid cable. Uh, Lucid is another newly added manufacturer to the Bosch tool, and if you're not familiar with Lucid, they're an electric car manufacturer that hopes to rival Tesla as a leader in electric vehicle production. There's one thing to know about Lucid. DLC OBD downloads are not available on any Lucid vehicle. Direct module downloading is the only way to retrieve EDR data from a Lucid car, and you'll need the 859 cable to download the data. You can see by the newer round style connector on both of these cables that they're compatible with the CDR900 interface module. They're not compatible with the CAN Plus. You'll need the CDR900 to perform any download from vehicles that utilize either of these cables. Both cables are now available for purchase on the Crash Data Group website. Be aware that again because of production issues, limited quantities are available on this initial release. And that's it for the first edition of EDR Tech. Again, future editions will cover all kinds of topics related to crash data retrieval. It would be really helpful to us, help us out if you click on the subscribe button so we can build our YouTube channel into a more valuable tool for you to get the latest information on what's going on in the EDR industry. And by subscribing, you'll be notified when next month's edition is out. Also, if there's a topic you'd like to see covered, please let us know. And as always, if you have any questions about EDR retrieval tools, just give us a call or go to crashdatagroup.com.